Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a little amigurumi I have been working on. So my sister's daughter has been watching a TV show on Netflix called Chip and Potato. Um, I've never heard of it. I don't know much about it, except for what I googled um, after she requested this project. And basically, it's a little pug dog that has a mouse toy. The dog is named Chip, and the toy is named Potato, or Little Potato. And apparently, to him, this little potato is alive. Okay, so my sister wanted me to make one for her daughter, because apparently it's a newer show, or it's not very popular, and there's not very many Chip and Potato things. So she requested that I make her Little Potato. Um, there are no patterns on Ravelry for Little Potato. There was a finished, I think, Little Potato. Somebody crocheted an Etsy for $49. <coughs> Pardon me. So I was like, nope, you know what? I'm going to make it myself. So I made Little Potato. And here, here Little Potato is. Um, basically, I used all the knowledge I had from Friendly Red Fox and a little bit of the Bella Coco cat that I made here to help me figure out how to make potato. Now, straight away, I realize his eye is one mark over, further over than probably should be. This is what little potato looks like. He has these really giant, big, or her, I'm not sure, floppy ears um, with these hearts in them, and he likes to wear this cute little hoodie. So it was very important that little potato be able to take his hood on and off. Um, the body of Little Potato was the easiest. Little string bean legs. Um, because I was making this myself, I decided to attach the appendages as I went. So first I made his leg, then I started making his little body. Then before stuffing, I sewed on his leg. Because I really hate trying to attach legs after the body's made and then you got these ends poking out. Then I switched to the shirt color. And to give it the appearance of having a shirt on with these pants, I did a crochet in the front loop. And then I went and did the back loop. And then I came up for the body. And just like Friendly Red Fox, I started to decrease for the neck, increase for the head. Then when I got to about the place where I wanted to put in the eyes, I stopped and I embroidered the mouth, the nose, popped in the eyes, did a little bit more, embroidered the eyebrows. And then I closed off its head. Apparently this little potato has a little bit of fluffy hair. And then I closed off the top of his head and left the end there so I could have his hair so that you didn't have to weave any ends. Uh, then the ears were a giant circle that I then found a little crochet heart. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the pattern that I loosely followed for the ears. Um, the gal that made the heart her medium heart was too big and her small heart was too small or her tiny heart. So I kind of did an in-between of my own. Um, and so then the hard part about this is you have to sew this heart on without it coming through. And even though it did a little bit on the back of the ear. So you make two of those and it looks like this ear is a little higher than that ear, but it's okay because little potato likes to put his hat on. So I just kind of fold up his ears now, when it came to making the hood, um, luckily, at one point I made Flinny, this little, um, it's a Bernat pattern. I'll link it in the description of a, I made him a hoodie poncho for a little boy. So I kind of recalled what I did for that. And so what I did is I went down, I held Little Potato's arms down. I should have actually, if you want to be honest, put Little Potato's arms last because they were in the way the whole time. Um, and I just single crocheted around the neck on the outside, kind of creating a track. And then I put, um, it was 14 of them right here, from here all the way around to the back to here. And then I just put two stitches in each. So I went to 28. Then I did it again, 28, as you know from one of my other videos. I'm not very good at math, so 16, 48, 58, 58, whatever, I just kept doubling. Now, what I should have done is approximately this row right here, I should have stopped and decreased in the middle because I ended up with this like kind of puckered 
hat in the back because as I just kept getting bigger and bigger, I think right about here or so, I stopped doing two in every one and I just did one all the way around, just back and forth. Then I brought them up to the top. I crocheted them together, single crocheted. I folded it over and I just made this little hood. Um, if I link to you guys that pattern that I made for Flynn's like little bear poncho, you'll have a better idea of how to make the hood. But I've made hoods like this before. Mikey even has um, a cute, cute baby blanket that you put a hood in the corner. So I have done a hood before. Okay, so basically, yeah, this is the little potato, apparently. Now, super sweet is my sister. I finished it. I rushed to finish it so I can mail this out. Um, my sister um, did a, a, a duo. That's where, like, you can see me talking to you on your phone. It's like a video chat called Duo. I don't know. Anyway, and Maggie seemed so happy to see this little potato. So that made me feel happy. And I feel like it's the perfect size for a little girl to hold it in his her hand. Or a little boy if you love little potato. But I'm obviously thinking about Maggie. And she can just run around with her little potato right here in her hand. Um, yeah, so guess what, you guys? You can, if you have amigurumi skills and you've been doing them for a while it, you do get to the point where you can kind of make up your own stuff I guess I made up that pig but yeah here it is little potato so because I have two I have three nieces I needed to make something for the other two nieces um, because you know it's not fun to mail a project to someone and then the other two are like mm, what do I get so I found this super cute pattern. Um, actually, this came up in the Ravelry search when I was looking for the little mouse pattern to make little potato. Um, this cute little donut mouse came up, so I thought, you know what, that looks quick and easy. I'll make those for the kids. Uh, Ravelry, I'll put a link in the description to the Ravelry, but to be honest, it doesn't actually have the pattern there. You have to go to her website. And because I have this new Chromebook, you guys, I can show you how much I love this gal's patterns. But anyway, first I'll show you, these are the little donuts. I made two of them, one for each of the leftover nieces that didn't get a little potato. They're super easy and quick to make, and I really loved them, and I, I made these. I mean, I had a lot going on, so I'd do a little and I'd go back. But, so this is what I've got for my nieces, but I wanted to show you this website. Everything, oh, see, look at that, it's not as cool. There you go. Everything that she makes, look at that cute little pig is so adorable in just my colors. You know, pink, purple, teal, and her patterns are really easy to read. So I'll put a link in the description to where you can find her link on Ravelry, but I'll also link her website. And um, she has a picture of what it is that she made, and underneath it, where the name is, you click on the name. So. Um, I think this one that I found here is called bunny macaroon pattern and you click on the bunny macaroon and then the pattern opens up in a new window now because I'm trying to be paperless I then copied and pasted line by line not line by line but chunk by chunk into my Google document I even was able to copy over one of the pictures and then I saved it it says crochet or donut mouse crochet pattern and so now I'm gonna have that stored in a file so now I'm not gonna to have to print it up I just thought maybe I'll try to show you so see here it is right here I uh, copied and pasted it into a Google Doc um, I'll scroll down so you can see they even put in a little picture and then I'm saving that to my computer so now I won't have to have a piece of paper laying around. So that is the um, that is what I've been working on. Um, this I started Friday mid morning. I had to. Oh, I'll tell you all the colors I used. How about that? I started this Friday and then I I got almost two thirds of the way done with the hood. So I did the whole little potato and the two thirds of the hood. And then this morning I finished the hood and I, his tail. 
And then I made these two, Saturday morning, I made these two donuts. Okay, so let's talk about the yarn that I used for this problem, project. I would like to say that this most likely, because I found this in a little bag without a ball band on it, um, I want to say, based on feeling, that this is I Love This Yarn White. Okay? The next color that I used for Little Potato, I'm going to have to come up and, well, I'll just tell you, is Red Heart Yellow. I use this for Little Potato's pants. Bright yellow. Okay? Uh, little Potato shirt, or his heart, is I Love This Yarn Royal. This is that same yarn that I just used in that granny square blanket that Linda gave me, probably like a year ago. Um, Little Potatoes sweatshirt is made out of this yarn that I got from Australia, from Leah's Handmade Crafts. Um, this is called Portacraft, 100% acrylic, eight ply, uh, in the colorway High Viz Pink. And it is a very bright pink. Okay, so that's what I used. Oh, and then I love this yarn black. And then this light pink for the nose is I love this yarn baby pink. I didn't have to buy anything. This was all made with the yarn that I have here in my hoard. Okay, to make the donuts. This is I love this yarn white. I love this yarn black. And this is that Australian acrylic, Portacraft acrylic eight ply high viz pink. This one is for Olivia. And this is for Scarlett. And this is, I love this yarn white. I love this yarn black. And then I made the inner ear and the tail with grape, Karen Simply Soft. This I just bought on clearance at Joann's. Okay, you guys, so I'm honestly going to tell you, if you want to try to do some amigurumi and you want to try something nice and easy and quick, these donuts are going to are super adorable, so people are going to love them, and they're really quick, and if I wanted to, I could probably, if I didn't have anybody bothering me, right, I could probably make one of these an hour. Bing, bang, boom, I could pop a whole bunch of these out for my class. Um, so yeah. Now, in the description box below, I will list the colors that I use to make Little Potato, and that's what this mouse is called, Little Potato. And then I'll also list underneath again um, the link to the Ravelry where I found the gal's pattern. I'll link her website, and then I'll put the colors that I use to make my donut mouse. And that is all that I will link for this video. And there is Little Potato. So when I was on the video this morning, I was like, Bye, Maggie. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> she loved it. She's like three. Okay. So thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.